Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Richard Seidlitz and I'm the owner of RedPants.LOL. As you can probably tell, I just got a new set of wheels. So this is actually my second attempt at filming this video. Yesterday I started out on filming this, but only one of my four wheels had arrived. Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Richard Seidlitz and I'm the owner of redpants.lol. Today I was super excited to get my new set of wheels, but for whatever reason, UPS only delivered one of them, which doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Since my other three showed up today, I figured why not just redo the whole thing because I wasn't too happy with it anyway, and I'd be able to showcase all of the wheels at the same time. But anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about the wheels that I have here uh, in case some of you guys were interested in a set of these for yourself. As many of you know, I am a huge, huge fan of BC Forged wheels. Uh, I think for the price, you can't really get anything better for your Aston Martin. These are fully forged, which means they are some of the strongest wheels on the market and incredibly light. In fact, this wheel right here is the wheel that's going on the front of my car, but it's the same width and diameter as the original factory Aston Martin wheels that came on this car. Despite being the same size as that original wheel, this one weighs six pounds less per wheel. So it's a big weight loss there. It doesn't sound like a lot on paper, but in practice, it actually does add, add up quite a bit. Uh, I also find that BC Forge wheels are much, much stronger than the factory wheels. Those original wheels, for example, that came on this car, three of them were no longer usable by the time I was done. Uh, a while back, I had a group of friends I used to hang out with quite a bit, and they I can't remember which one said, but one of them said that I'm the only person they know that considers windshields and wheels to be wear items because I used to destroy so many of each of those. And that wheel thing kept going, well actually even the windshield because this has got quite a bit of pitting and a couple of cracks in it, not that you can really see it, but I'm surprised this windshield has held up as well as it has given what I've put it through. But including wheels, for example, I will not use anything other than fully forged wheels anymore because I have damaged so many wheels over the years, uh, which is why I like these. The set that's on right now, these black ones have been through quite a bit and they're holding up incredibly well. The previous set that was on this car was another set of BC Forge wheels and I put those through more damage and abuse than my factory wheels and after all that the factory wheels are completely unusable and the BC Forge ones were fine except for a tiny cosmetic bend in one of the lips and that was it. So take that as you will, I will not use anything else than fully forged wheels because I have seen firsthand how much damage they can take, uh, including you know track days with the finish not being an issue, uh, the strength of them when hitting things, these are the only thing that I'll get. So there's the spiel on why I got these wheels, but let's talk a bit more about this specific one. Uh, on my car right now is the RZ05 in the gloss black finish. This is the KL11, 
in the brushed dark black finish. Now the big difference here is that's sort of like a gloss paint, uh, gloss paint and this is more of a, called a translucent smoking. Uh, the nice thing about the translucent smoking is that you can actually see the grain of the metal through it, but it gives it this nice dark tint to add some character to it. You can get um, this same, the same effect with a clear finish or with other different colors, and that's another thing to know. BC Porsche has a lot of different colors and stuff uh, for their wheels that are all included with the price. Uh, I happen to like this one, but you can get pretty crazy with this. Uh, the only thing that I was worried about, since I'm talking about colors, the only thing I was worried about is a personal thing for me, is I like having contrast between the paint of a car and the wheels. On my car, I don't have any bright work whatsoever. The original chrome or anything glossy or polish has been replaced with either black paint or carbon fiber or something. There's no bright work left on there. Even my tailpipes are black chrome. They're not even chrome anymore, uh, or traditional shiny chrome like the standard tips. So when I was looking at a set of wheels, I wanted to keep that theme going, even though I really wanted a set of this wheel and the clear polish. But um, I wanted to keep that dark look going, so I got these. And another reason I got this instead of another set of black wheels was one, because I already had black wheels and it wasn't worth the money to switch out just for a different style for me, because. I'm working with a budget here. Um, and two, I personally don't even like black wheels. These look incredible on my car, they look incredible in person, but they don't really show well in pictures. A lot of the detail, the contours, the design gets lost by having black on it. And a lot of people like that look, that's totally fine. Everything's subjective. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but for me personally, I like having a lot of the contour, the style of a wheel pop out. So I wanted to get the dark one, uh, which is why I went with this. I think it shows the uh, characteristics of the wheel a lot better. The only downside uh, for me personally, again, is because I like that contrast, I'm losing a lot of that by going to this wheel. Uh, this is a fairly similar shade, even though they are different. Uh, as far as the contrast goes, there's not a lot of contrast between this finish and the paint of my car, which is, by the way, the paint of my car is mercury silver. And it's a question I get asked fairly often. It's not meteorite, it's not tungsten, it is mercury silver. Uh, it's, it's kind of a medium gray, doesn't have a ton of big flake to it. It's fairly, you know, a, a fine, fine flake to it. But the big difference between this and the others is this has a hint of green, which comes across a little strange. Um, I never really thought about it until I saw it in certain lighting. It does have a little bit of a green thing, but that's a whole different topic. I'm getting off uh, topic for this. Anyway, uh, the wheels that I have here, these KL11s, are the same specs as my current set. So I'm not changing anything about what I'm doing with my setup per se. The only difference is the look of the wheels is different. Otherwise, the same offsets, the same diameters, the same widths. And I'm even gonna be using the same tires that I already have now. My front tires are still good, so I'm gonna swap those over to my new wheels, and I'm gonna replace my rear tires with new ones that are gonna go on the rear wheels. This is the 19 inch white pants fitment, which is a preset that I have to make it easier for Aston Martin customers to order. Uh, I have four different presets. There's a 19 inch, 20 inch white pants and red pants, um, each of those with different diameters and different widths. Uh, so it'll make it easier to order. If you wanna do something custom, I'm more than happy to help out with that. And there's just about anything you can think of they can do. So um, make sure you check out redpants.lol if you're interested in a set of BC Forge wheels. And if you don't see what you want on there, just let me know. I don't have everything they have to offer listed, but I'm happy to help you get what you need. So for the 19 inch wide pants fitment, that means these are nine and a half inches wide in the front and I'll be putting 265 tires on them and the rears are 11 inches wide and I have 305 width tires on them. Again, I'm gonna use the same tires I already have. I love this setup. These are the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires. I know they're not available in all markets, you know, particularly England. You guys can't get the, these tires very easily, but if you can, they're fantastic. So I did take some weights. Like I said, the front wheels weighed uh, 20.6 pounds. The rears were 21.6 pounds. Nice bit of weight loss there. I'm looking forward to getting these on. But the last thing that I'm gonna do because of these wheels is change the look of my car entirely. Not because of the wheels themselves, but because I want to make my car stand out a little bit more. So what I'll be doing in the near future is getting the car, well, first I have to get all the paint fixed because there's a lot of missing paint up front. But I'm gonna end up having this car wrapped. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but the end goal is it's gonna be a lot lighter 
and these wheels are gonna pop a lot more than what they're gonna look like after I get them first installed. Like I said, it's a personal thing. I like contrast, um, but aside from that, you know, I figured that was gonna happen, but I was already planning on getting my car wrapped, so I don't really care. One more thing I wanna talk about real quickly while discussing my car specifically is these extended lugs. Now, this is something that was done by the original owner of my car, actually. When I first bought it, he had the original seven-spoke factory wheels on it with some spacers. The spacers were the type that have pass-through holes so that the lugs from the car just pass straight through. But when you do something like that, that spacer is taking up the threads that the lug nuts need to keep the wheels on. So he was using these extended lugs, which is the right way to do it. However, once I started getting wheels made that no longer required spacers, the lugs were no longer necessary. However, I just never got around to changing them. It was a combination of time, money, energy, and give a damn, and I had none of it. So I left them as is, and instead of going through all the hassle of replacing them, which wasn't really that much hassle, uh, I just got these open-ended lug nuts, which are the safe way to use extended lugs when a normal lug nut will bottom out. So I actually have a whole set of wheel assemblies or hub assemblies, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it includes the wheel bearing and the new lugs all in one package. I've got four of them sitting in my trunk. So when I get these wheels put on, I'm also going to have those changed out so I can go back to using normal lug nuts. Specifically, I'll be using the black version of my own two-piece lightweight lug nuts. And that's what's going to be on this car once I get these wheels on. But anyway, that's the video. If you like what you saw, please like it and share it. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel, especially if you want to see what happens going forward because there's still a lot more that I'll be doing over the next few months, let alone God knows how long. So um, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next video.